Hello, uh, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick demonstration of how to uh, install the processing integrated development environment on Chrome OS using the uh, Chrome Linux subsystem. Uh, if you don't know how to set up the Chrome Linux subsystem, uh, please uh, uh, do that first. Uh, you, there's lots of resources online. Get, get that set up. Um, because I've already set this up on my machine. I'm just showing you how to install processing. Uh, so uh, let's get into it. So I'm on processing.org and I'm going to click download. And you can see we have download processing 4.3 for Linux. That's what we want to see. So we're going to hit that button and it's going to download a file um, to our downloads folder. But this will take, um, you know, um, maybe a minute or two, depending on how good your internet connection is. You can see mine ticking away down there. Um, when you, uh, after this downloads, what we're going to do is transfer that file to the Linux files area. Um, if you do not see Linux files when you open up your file browser, uh, you have not yet set up the Linux system for your Chromebook. Um, if, if you are using a school Chromebook, or a Chromebook that belongs to a school district or something like that, you are likely don't have permission to do this. You can only do this kind of thing on uh, a Chromebook that you own. So my uh, uh, processing Linux uh, thing has finished downloading, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just click and drag that over to Linux files. Uh, this will take uh, another couple of minutes to transfer over. Um, Potentially, mine's only taking a couple of seconds, which is nice. Uh, we'll just wait for that to transfer. And then, uh, once it's done transferring, uh, you'll be able to see that uh, processing 4.3.tgz file in your Linux files. Um, from here, we're going to go ahead and open up the uh, terminal. So I'm going to close everything out and open up my terminal. I'll click Penguin. And we're going to do the rest of the installation from here by typing commands into this window. So uh, let's get this somewhat centered. Can I make it a little bit bigger? Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there we go. That'll be easier to see. OK. Um, now, to get to our files, um, you can see uh, I've typed the ls command to see all of the files I have in my working directory. And you can see we have our .tgz file there. The first thing we have to do is uh, extract that the data that's compressed into that TGZ file. To do that, I'm going to type sudo uh, to run the command as a super user. Tar, that's the, uh, the program I'm using to um, decompress the, the files. Uh, dot, I'll use the XF flags there, and then I'll just type the name of the file verbatim. So I'm just reading that from up above there, TGZ. And once we have that typed in, I'll hit Enter. It will take a moment to extract everything. And when it's done, you'll see the command prompt back up again, Octojohn at Penguin. Um, you, you'll see something else uh, there. It'll still be green like mine is. Great. Uh, so now I'm going to clear the screen. And if we ls again, you'll see we have a new folder, processing-4.3. I'm going to enter that directory by typing cd processing-4.3, that's change directory. And now you can see when we use ls, we have a bunch of different files to use. The one that we are worried about is that install.sh file. And to run that program, I'm going to type sudo dot slash install.sh. You'll get a bunch of different messages up here as the uh, processing program gets installed. So I'm going to let that run. You might see more messages than me. You might see fewer. Um, it, it's just going to depend on your computer and everything you have set up. Um, I've already set this up once, so I, you're, you'll see more messages than mine. Uh, but that doesn't mean anything is wrong. What you're looking for is this done message at the end. If you see that, then you're good to go. Um, finally, uh, this is the last step, uh, we can run our processing program. To run processing, uh, you're just going to type dot slash 
uh, you're going to make sure you're in that processing.4.4.3 directory dot slash processing. And that is uh, corresponding to this green program up here. And uh, it will spin up. Oh, that's fine. That's because I deleted stuff. You won't see that. Um, <laughs> let me make sure. Let me try it again. Processing. I think I know what the problem is. Oh, there we go. Great. Yeah, and so if it works correctly, this is what you should see. And you'll be able to write your processing programs into this window and hit the play button to make them go. Uh, while your processing program is, is running, uh, you can just kind of minimize that terminal. Uh, you can do all the stuff with it. And then when you're ready to stop, you can hit X. Um, oh, we have a couple of extra instances going. That's, that's my fault. There we go. OK, now to. Uh, let's imagine you've just opened up your Chromebook. You've done the, all the installation. Um, I'm going to show you from scratch how to start the processing program because you don't have to reinstall everything every time. Um, all you have to do to restart processing after you've done this installation process is to go to your terminal. Uh, change directory into the processing uh, dash 4.3. So cd processing dash 4.3 uh, and then dot slash processing. You can write that down. You can take a screenshot of those commands if you want to. Um, but that's all. That's all you have to do. You don't have to reinstall anything after you've got everything set up. Um, and that's how you uh, set up processing on Linux. If you have any questions about this, please uh, let us know. We would love to help. Otherwise, good luck and happy coding.